This remarkable machine is reimagined, a BMW R1250R built by Renard Speedshop and we have the pleasure of hosting it at Bike Shed London for a time. Now we wanted to do a video for you and normally we do our walk around talk around with the person who brings the bike, in this case that was Andre from Renard Speedshop but unfortunately getting the bike from Renard in Tallinn in Estonia to us was a bit of a logistical nightmare and Andre was here when the bike wasn't. So what we did was we sat down with Andre and we did an interview with him. We asked him all about the bike, learned about the process of it being built, a bit about the history of Renard and the other machines that they make. And what we're gonna do is piece that together with lots of B-roll and lots of footage we've had from Renard. Yeah, there's lots to talk about with this bike and we hope you enjoy the video. Andre, Hello. thanks for coming down, mate. Um, I have so many questions about this motorcycle, but before we talk about the bike, um, tell us some more about Renard Speed Shop. Renard Speed Shop, uh, it's actually, the brand was founded in 1938, and uh, it was like a factory doing the, the tube frame, kind of uh, small engine, suck engine motorcycles. Yeah, and where was this factory? In Tallinn. Right. In Estonia, in Tallinn. And uh, after a bombing in 1944, it was destroyed. And uh, in 2007, it was resurrected and done as a new factory for unique motorcycles. So by originally, Andres. they were like a, Renault was like a original equipment manufacturer doing their own bikes. Yes, it's, of course, the location, it, it was different. And uh, yeah. uh, right now, like the, the home of Renault, this is the, the, the such like, part of the city called like Teleskivi. This is a, uh, I would say modern district, uh, design district, which is uh, famous for uh, all kind of shops and uh, special place where like a lot of young people hang out, and there is a lot of small factories, craft uh, shops. So there is uh, the uh, X uh, place for a tram station. Yeah. So it's the beautiful building kind of looks same, similar like yours. And uh, right now we have there as a, as a like barbecue restaurant and the, and the garage as well. I mean, it looks incredible. I've seen the photos of it and I'm, I really want to go. So that premises has been since 2007, do you since say? 2007, yes. Yeah. And uh, so what we have right now, we have right now two subdivisions. One is a Renard Speed Shop, which is responsible for customizations and uh, custom bikes. And Renard Speed Shop is what reimagined the R1250R yeah, exactly. came out of. Yeah. And another uh, subdivision is Renard Motorcycles that right now we are producing uh, such unique motorcycle. It's a rest mode of uh, R100. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's also pretty unique bike. I hope one day I'm going to bring it here as well to show it yeah, to you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but before, uh, if we come back to 2007, uh, the first bike that's ever came out from uh, that time, it was Renault GT. This is like, I would say, one of the most beautiful bike ever I saw. This is uh, quite unique in the matter of uh, technical, uh, I would say, decisions, because it was a uh, carbon frame monocoque, uh, completely custom made, except one, uh, this is an engine made by Avato Guzzi. So, mm -hmm. and this bike was, I would say, over the time it was releasing because it only was released for uh, machines, for motorcycles, and it's after that uh, we took the like direction more for the customizations. And uh, our main, like, the brand of choosing and our passion is BMWs, the boxer yeah. engine. Uh, and from that point, how we came to the. Uh, the guys came to the R hundreds and uh, other custom motorcycles. Yeah. So you start with start with the Guzzi. What was the name of the Guzzi again? It was uh, a Renault GT. The Renault GT. It's an right. stunning machine, and you can see you can see the sort of um, lineage of that bike yes, in the. Uh, as we call it, this uh, reimagined uh, R1250R is a successor of that bike. Right. And uh, we tried with that. Uh, you can see actually the how the idea came from the, this first bike to this one. And uh, also uh, another idea was to create a kind of a gadget uh, motorcycle. That's uh, that's why it's white. It's like uh, it's like an Apple gadget. Yeah, in the motorcycle you can see world. that, isn't it? And who's the, who's the designer? The, the, the one man behind uh, uh, the Renault is, is uh, Andres Ulbama. He is actually the founder and the creator. Of course, there is a uh, team. Uh, there is a team of uh, another team that helps to build everything, mm -hmm. but he's... Uh, it's like, his vision. Yeah, it's his vision. Uh, actually, the donor was purchased as a new 
uh, R1250R, uh, it's which already a very nice bike. A f phenomenal bike. And, and the uh, reimagined was that um, the BMW Motorrad days this year, wasn't it? Yes, it was two times in uh, BMW Motorrad days. It was yeah. this year and the, uh, two years ago it was in uh, Hall of Fame as well. Yeah, so I, I saw it there this year and I took the R1250R out for a ride around Berlin, the standard one. Um, it's an amazing bike to start with, isn't it? Uh, yes. And what, what you guys have done to it with Reimagined, I mean, talk me through the build. What, it's a pretty in-depth process, isn't it? What did you, you stripped everything away and started at the beginning? stripped everything away and uh, also uh, the main idea was to, uh, to s that all the like, uh, modern bits and pieces in, in the bike, to keep it on, Mm -hmm. So, for example, that we didn't touch the engine, we didn't touch uh, well, almost the, anything, it's the, it's like technical part. So, yeah. uh, it runs uh, beautifully, uh, all the systems are working properly, so right. even the cats aren't. So, we just put it the uh, exhaust from, like, super leggero. Really? Uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, uh, the BMW also uses the Akarpovich uh, for the mm. motorcycle, so we decided to stick with this one, but put something extraordinary. So yeah. it was uh, interesting, and uh, it was even too difficult to purchase this one uh, for that bike. So right. it was, uh, only that piece. Super Zero uh, exhaust, fantastic! And talk to me about the um, the headstock with the, the kicked out forks. How yeah. how did that come to pass? So basically, uh, if you take the bike, the, the frame uh, it stays like untouched, and uh, we just. Uh, Use the same uh, fork it was before the and the same suspension was originally, but just uh, change the angle mm. so and the, the and the links so right now like you, ha you can see the body panels around is made of aluminium it 's crafted by hand mm. so the, the wheels uh, the 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 front uh, lights it 's all custom made uh, the mm. tank and the, the the back seat as well so and that that lower fork yoke that helps kick out the force. That's an amazing piece. I think it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's pretty like impressive bike, and uh, especially in uh, real life to see it. Mm. Because pictures, um, uh, as you understood, I uh, see it. it's d too difficult to find the right angle to make a great picture of that bike. Yeah. Because it's, uh, it's uh, need to see in real life. Well, we're going to have it on the plinth by our front door, hopefully for a little while, so people can come down and check it out. One of the really striking bits about it for me is that uh, the grill behind the front wheel, that, that big oval, yes. so reminiscent of the old BMW race cars, isn't it? Right, this is a, there was a kind of uh, idea to, to implement something that will remind people, like it's uh, some unique part that mm. belongs to BMW. So it's, uh, that part was a CNC amount and uh, uh, as well as the, the front fork uh, part. So uh, the, the covers from the fork, they are 3D printed. So right. Uh, and, the and the panels, as I said, and the, uh, and the tank, it was uh, made by hand. Hmm. So it's, it's, I love the way it combines, like you say, it's kind of got that gadget, almost like an Apple product feel, but it's kind of got those heritage references in there with the grill and then combined with the futuristic It's tech very product. futuristic uh, yeah. like to look and, and especially when uh, all the screen, which is we, I think is one of the brilliant decisions to put it on top of the tank. Mm. It's, uh, it's unique because it's always a, a, a dilemma how to fit the new uh, like, uh, clocks on the yeah. bike. Uh, but this for us was uh, uh, important to keep everything like stuck. Because yeah. there is a lot of electronics in there. Because that's the sort of that's the TFT 1250R yeah, right. screen, isn't it? Exactly. That's mounted in the tank. So when you turn on it, all the uh, like uh, graphics are yeah. the same. It's, it's yeah. interesting. And so it's a it's a sh clearly a, a show bike and a right. sort of showstopper, but it, it's a rideable machine, isn't it's it? It's rideable. Yes. Yeah. It's, of course, it's because of the angle of the fork. It's uh, on, the, on the like small speeds. It could be a, a little bit unstable, but it's uh, like the matter of uh, I would say experience. So have you had a ride? Yeah, I ride it a lot. So yeah. it's uh, like two or three hundred uh, kilometers right now on the clock. So yeah, right. It's in Tallinn, yeah, we ride a lot. But yeah. after you reach like 15 uh, kilometers per hour, it's, it's it stable. Yeah, and you yeah. can enjoy it. It's a wonderful engine, that shift cam engine, isn't it? Yes. Um, so, and especially with, uh, with this like uh, soundtrack that gives mm. it. Oh, I can't. Well, hopefully we're going to start it up and we can hear it roar through yeah. those super leger pipes. <laughs> All the clients are going to be excited. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it when no one's in. <laughs> Great. So, I mean, um, what, what's next for Renard? What are you working on at the moment? Right now, we are, our like the main uh, agenda is just to push our uh, modern bike. That is, how is it modern? Modern classic bike. So, uh, basically, 
uh, Renault uh, as a subdivision. Uh, we are doing the rest mode of R100 BMW yes. from, uh, we took the part like from 1974 to the 1985 model range. Uh, because of the exhaust uh, and all the tribulations, it's uh, easier for us to use this mm -hmm. uh, this bike. And when you say resto mod, this is a this is our rebuild, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is absolutely. So uh, what we made uh, with this bike, uh, the, we keep the frame it's a little bit reinforced. The engine uh, is completely restored. Not only restored, that it's uh, made better. So mm -hmm. uh, for for the gear uh, for the gearbox, we use uh, the gearbox from the like newest models though, it's a bit, it works better. Mm -hmm. And uh, the rest of that, like wheels, uh, the the seats, the, it's, uh, it's absolutely custom made. And uh, there is a huge attention to detail. So every bike uh, usually takes like, not less than 330, 350 hours of build. And uh, this is like, uh, uh, this spring, I brought them to a couple of events in, in California. One of them was La Jolla Concours de Ligans, and mm -hmm. uh, the people was uh, so happy to see it. And it's, uh, I, some people told us that uh, without actually our uh, bringing attention to this, this, this is like a singer, but yeah. uh, Porsche singer, but from motorcycle yeah. world. And uh, it was the biggest compliment for us it's, mm. uh, and uh, to the guys who could build because. Uh, it's not only that uh, it looks great, but uh, it uh, was ridden um, and it's uh, like one of the bikes was ridden on the track. Yeah. And it's, uh, we uh, brought one of the like, professional riders from uh, motorsport and he, he pushed that bike. It's, yeah, uh, you can great. see uh, it was as a good example on the back tire, you can see uh, how it was leaned. It's, uh, yeah. it's, is so, it, and we have one of, the, one of these on display in Bikes at LA, didn't we? Uh, I brought Two bikes we just visited, the bike yeah. in LA. Yeah. And uh, I saw the, the pictures yeah, of everyone the who was Dutch there. Dutch made a small like a real video like about mm. that. So I hope we, we couldn't like keep them for longer there because it was already uh, purchased Booked by the somewhere company. else. Yeah. Right. So it was yeah. purchased by clients, and uh, they gave us a, like opportunity to bring them uh, to LA. But uh, I think hopefully next year we're gonna bring uh, two yeah. or four uh, motorcycles there, and. Uh, already selling it, but definitely we'll place them in the bike shed. Great. Oh, it's, it's a, the, the Singer comparison is perfect, because when you think of Singer, you think of heritage, dynamic capability, and attention to detail, which right. in your bikes is just so For us, apparent. Uh, the attention to details is like uh, the crucial thing. Not only uh, it just like looks good, but uh, it feels good, and it uh, also uh, rides good. So it's, mm. uh, it's uh, like this combo that you don't have like compromises, so it's uh, when you purchase this bike, you can not only like put like a garage screen and just enjoy it uh, by the looks, but you also can ride it, and it's gonna be uh, like uh, of course you can feel it's like an old bike, yeah. but it's gonna be uh, pretty comfortable. As well. Yeah, and so you've got that range, the, the rest of mod range, and then the the one-off showpieces like like reimagined. Sure. Have any but of those in the in the plan? Not yet, because right now all the all the our time in the it's in our 100 rest mode project. Yeah. So we we building them. Uh, we try to enlarge our, our capabilities to to right now we're building like maybe 10 uh, units in the year, so 10 mm -hmm. motorcycles. But we want to to become a bit larger. Okay. So uh, right now all the uh, our thoughts, energy, and everything is uh, in the I'm just doing only this one. Yeah. There is of course there is size project in um, uh, uh, radar speed shop, but they're not like huge like uh, this we imagined mm. so because this took uh, like almost one year to build that's amazing yeah. so the, the biggest part was like to create this uh, idea and after to to build it so it took a well, it's, lot. it's a stunning machine um reimagined is is up for sale isn't it yes uh, so it's uh, uh, on sale right now and um, I think the people here in London can uh, just see uh, in real life this bike, yes. and uh, they can you can start up can as well. You can see show. We'll, we'll put a link right. in the description yeah. with a link to the classified yeah. where you can see more pictures, yeah, the and obviously pictures. the video. We'll 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 make sure we get some beautiful shots of all of those details on that amazing and, machine. And, and I hope uh, during the spring that we can uh, we can put this bike on the bike shed motorcycle show. So yeah, absolutely amazing as well. Well, mate, thanks so much for bringing it down. Thank you. And um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Speak to you soon. Thank you.